Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook's Kitchen. Let's talk about Roku on fire today, up 17%. Um, huge move for uh, Roku Bulls, who've uh, been faithful and nibbling uh, at uh, under 220, hopefully. And the catalyst is Roku signs extension with Google to carry YouTube. Um, now, if you didn't know, you, you know whether or not you use a Roku or not, but YouTube was on there. I didn't know until a couple of months ago that my family was watching YouTube on our big screen on Roku. And um, you know how cool is that? Now, why was there a, a, a tiff between uh, Roku? And uh, and Alphabet, the owner of YouTube. Well, basically, you know, Google tried to push them around and say, uh, we'd like a bigger cut of, uh, the, you know, the advertising revenue here. And Roku pushed back. Um, it somehow ended up uh, on the desk of some Congress people who also don't like Google and Alphabet having so much power. And uh, so they made a deal. And it's obviously great. I think it's it's obviously tremendous for Roku. Um, it's also good for Google if you think about it with YouTube because you know the more exposure for YouTube and I and I I'm assuming that the ads are still there on a lot of YouTube stuff maybe maybe it's not for a lot of it but um, it's still a good deal for for Google and Alphabet um, and looks great for Roku so let's take a look at my uh, ad tech company the trading desk ooh man I was gonna buy some more here I was I was looking for a for a gap fill, you know, maybe back in the 92. Looks like we got as low as 9308 today and it's off to the races. So, um if you don't understand Roku well enough to buy it, as I told you last week I didn't, um put some money down on the trade desk is my view. So, all right, what else is going on? Let's uh so th this whole theme today is e-commerce and ad tech. Um so now let's move on to some e-com and talk about uh, big commerce. So here's big commerce coming off the lows. We nibbled under 42, um, and I just bought some more today under uh, under 44. Uh, big upgrade from Bofa. Let me see if I can find that. Well, we'll get to that. I'll show you the upgrade, or it's actually initiation of coverage from Bank of America with a $66 price target, and I'll show you that when we go look at the news because um and we're going to look at the news for pinterest too because pinterest which i also own as you may know um another emerging e-commerce platform uh is up today not not on any really particular news but but something you know obviously the stock's been decimated you know let's take a look back here you know big rounding top you know 75 80 um and then here was paypal uh, rumored to buy them, blows out the shorts up up above 65. And um, we actually added to some Pinterest um, recently. And boy, I would consider it again under 40. Now, okay, so what's, we know Pinterest is moving into e-commerce, but what's significant is they're also moving into video. Now, the three, the three big things are here that um, they got, the, the head YouTube guy, uh, Malik Ducard, I believe is his name. And uh, maybe I can find you a picture of him. Um, and this guy is, you know, the, the YouTube brains, right? For YouTube for 10 years. So, um, oh, I wanted to find a picture of him. Malik Ducard exits YouTube to join Pinterest as chief content officer there's malik all right so huge win for pinterest um obviously they're serious about doing stuff with video for sellers creators you name it now what else is going on uh pinterest announced two weeks ago three weeks ago now pinterest launches 22 experimental products division amid push into video Okay, so this is probably a Malik Ducard initiative, although he isn't mentioned here. Uh, and I didn't see a press release. 
Another bit of news I just found. This is, uh, I believe, today or, or actually on Monday. Pinterest published on their blog that they are acquiring Vochi, uh, which is a video creation and editing app focused on democratizing quality tools for creators. Duh. Okay, so that's clear, clearly where they're headed. And uh, this was not a formal Pinterest press release that you'd find on Investor Relations. It was more or less on their uh, on their blog. Pinterest acquires Vochi, video creation and editing app. So this is going to be very powerful for uh, to bring more creators to the platform. And that was announced uh, on Monday. All right. So uh, while we're while we're checking out news, let's uh, I'm using the fly.com here. Um, they usually get a lot of good stuff, and they got the initiation from Bank of America. You can see it here. Uh, analyst Koji Ikeda initiated coverage of Big C with a buy rating and $66 price target. The company screens well in terms of its ability to generate healthy growth trends for the foreseeable future. Okay, so they see it growing. Um, it has relatively smaller exposure to transactional volume volatility. Okay. Maybe because they're small, they have uh, lower exposure to transaction volume volatility, like a Shopify, I guess they're implying, and its ability to address B2C and B2B customers at the same time. Okay, that that's good. Uh, and they're also a partner with PayPal, which I like. Uh, Akita further notes that Big C management is viewed as leaders in the end market. Uh, they do a lot of stuff with customizing um, uh, platforms for sellers. Um, and making the experience uh, better for the buyer. Okay, so that's good news with Big C. Uh, did I show you that chart? No, I didn't. Let's look at the Big C chart. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. So who else do we want to talk about? We talked about. So let's take a look at Shopify. Boy, did you get another chance in Shopify? I talked about this last week. Down to thirteen hundred. Woo. Well, down to thirteen fifty anyway. Uh, back above fifteen hundred. So, you know. That was the sell-off to buy. I didn't know how much it worse, worse it was going to get, but you know, big swing up to 1700, which was my target this year, and then they clobber it uh, during this early December selling. I've been calling this December selling. You know, it's not it's not like tax loss selling, although there is some of that going on for you know for software that's down 50 percent or more. You know, people are taking the tax loss hit and hoping they can buy it back in January. There's also some tax gain selling on it. What I mean by that is, is if you look back at uh, an S&P chart for one year, so let's go way back here. Um, this is the the September, October, November consolidation, um, where you know smart money was getting long in here before the election, and you know then we've just had this incredible trending run in the S&P. So a lot of people have one year gains on the table. Hey. If they, you know, they would love to hold off and take them in January, so they're not on, you know, 21, 2021 taxes. But if you're getting forced out in some stuff, as, as software is getting clobbered, biotech's getting clobbered, then people are doing a little tax gain selling too. But here we are, big pop um, coming in on Tuesday. Man, just blew out the shorts. We're less than one percent from uh, all-time highs. Uh, in the S and P, and you know Nasdaq's looking just as good. All right, I think that's all I wanted to show you: Roku, Trade Desk, Big Commerce, Pinterest, Shopify. And we talked about all the good news for Pinterest. Um, we talked about the great news for Roku, saying be a buyer of the Trade Desk, Pinterest, and Big Commerce. I own all. Uh, actually, yeah, I own all three. I own the Trade Desk, Big Commerce, and Pinterest. In full disclosure. Uh, no positions in Shopify or Roku right now. All right, that's it for this week's Cook Kitchen. We'll talk to you next week.